Welcome to this series of micro-learning webinars on HIV, COVID and me. In this webinar, we will be examining vaccine safety, efficacy, and the importance of COVID-19 vaccination and boosters for people living with HIV. Here are the learning objectives for today's session. Upon successful completion of this activity, you will be able to name the available COVID-19 vaccines, explain how effective COVID-19 vaccines are, and explain why COVID-19 boosters are needed for everyone, including people living with HIV. There are four highly effective vaccines available for use in the United States. The AstraZeneca vaccine is not available in the US, but is available in other countries such as in the European Union and the United Kingdom. So who is getting vaccinated as of November 2022? 13 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses had been administered worldwide. What about people living with HIV? Who, who is getting vaccinated there? The REPRIEVE trial is a large global study which enrolled 7,000 people to study how to prevent heart problems amongst people living with HIV. Separately, the researchers looked at COVID-19 vaccination rates in those 7,000 people living with HIV and found that they were similar to those of the general population, ranging from 50% up to 70%, depending on the country. So let's look at the vaccines one by one. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine was granted full FDA approval in August of 2021 for people ages 16 years and older. Before that, it was the first COVID-19 vaccine to receive FDA emergency use authorization back in December 2020. It is a messenger RNA vaccine, and this is a relatively new vaccine technology. Who can get it? Anyone aged 16 years or older in the US, plus infants and children and teenagers, ages 6 months up to 15 years, all are eligible. This includes all people living with HIV who are 6 months of age or older. The FDA granted the Moderna vaccine full approval for people 18 years or older in January of 2022. Moderna uses the same messenger RNA technology as Pfizer. Who can get it? Infants and children and adults ages 6 months and older in the US, including all people living with HIV. This is the same as the Pfizer vaccine. So how well do the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines work in people living with HIV? Israeli clinicians have reported results of 143 people living with HIV who received the Pfizer vaccine. Two doses of the vaccine were able to trigger production of antibodies in 98% of participants. An Italian study compared responses to the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines after the first and second dose in 166 people living with HIV and a group of HIV-negative healthcare workers. The study showed that people with CD4 counts above 500 had strong antibody responses to the vaccine, and these responses were just as strong as the HIV-negative healthcare workers. The FDA authorized the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine in February of 2021. A one-shot strategy made J&J's vaccine easier to distribute and administer and convenient for people to get. But in the spring of 2021, concerns over rare blood clots associated with the vaccine prompted a pause on its use. This pause was soon lifted, but the FDA continues to put restrictions on who can get the J&J vaccine. So who can get it? Adults 18 years or older who specifically ask for the J&J vaccine or those who cannot take another vaccine for medical reasons. The Novavax vaccine was granted an emergency youth authorization by the FDA in mid-July of 2022, making it the fourth COVID-19 vaccine to be available in the US. Novavax is already being used in 40 countries worldwide and had a 90% efficacy rate in its clinical trial, performing almost as well as the messenger RNA vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna. Who can get it? 
people 12 years or older, including all people living with HIV. The AstraZeneca vaccine is available in many countries, but not in the US. It is cheaper to make, and while some of the other vaccines must be stored frozen, this one can be stored in a normal refrigerator for at least six months, making it easy to use and distribute. Let's take a quick look at comparing the vaccines. In clinical trials, protection against severe disease or hospitalization was 95% for the Pfizer vaccine, 95% for the Moderna vaccine, 90% for the Novavax vaccine, 76% for the AstraZeneca vaccine, and 67% for the J&J vaccine. What about boosters for people living with HIV? The CDC recommends that everyone, including people living with HIV, should get all their recommended booster shots when they are eligible. The CDC further recommends that people living with HIV with advanced HIV disease, a CD4 count less than 200, or an unsuppressed viral load, should have an additional vaccine dose at least 28 days after their primary course of vaccines. What about the new bivalent vaccines? The bivalent COVID vaccines include a part of the original virus strain to provide broad protection against COVID-19 and a part of the Omicron variant to provide better protection against COVID-19 caused by the Omicron variant. Bivalent COVID-19 vaccine boosters are recommended for all people living with HIV. So in summary, it's recommended that everyone 12 years and over should receive a primary vaccination course of two shots followed by two boosters. It is recommended that you get an updated Pfizer or Moderna bivalent booster at least two months after your last COVID vaccine, whether it's the final primary series or your last booster. This is regardless of how many boosters or which type of vaccines you've got in the past. So in conclusion, here is a summary of what we covered in this webinar. COVID-19 vaccination is recommended for all people living with HIV. COVID-19 vaccines are safe in people living with HIV. COVID-19 vaccines are effective in most people living with HIV. There is no evidence that any COVID vaccine interacts with HIV treatment or causes a viral load to increase. And all people living with HIV need to have boosters. The information in this presentation comes from these resources and you may wish to visit these websites to get more information. Thank you. Mm -hmm.